the 2018 MLB season almost upon us, I thought it would be a great time to take a look at how the AL East stacks up this year. It's sure to be a good one. After a measly 80-82 and 82 mediocre finish last year, the Rays decided to go full tank and not only trade star third baseman Evan Longoria to the Giants, but also deal players like Corey Dickerson to the Pirates, Steven Souza Jr. to the Diamondbacks, and Jake Odorizzi to the Twins. This team looks to suck for next year, and I have them pegged for a solid 5th place finish. This was a close one between you and the Blue Jays for this 4th place spot, but your sheer lack of a rotation has gotten you this spot. Your lineup is fine with guys like Chris Davis, Manny Machado, Adam Jones, and Mark Trumbo. They'll be getting you the runs. And even your infield is alright with Jonathan Scope Tra and Trey Mancini. That's a solid uh, infield combined with some of the other players and outfield. But you're just lack of rotation. Who do you got in there? Alex Cobb? Chris Tillman? Like... Your bullpen consists of a guy like Darren O'Day and Brad Brock that is not going to get it done in this very tight and tough AL East. Alright, Toronto, you guys severely disappointed me this last season, and I wanted the playoffs, and you guys gave me a very, but very poor season. You guys were in the basement for most of it, and I do think you will get out of it this year. And I will think you will move to about halfway, third place, because it looks to be a two-horse race. You have a good rotation with Marco Estrada, Jay Happ, and Aaron Sanchez, Marcus Stroman. With the additions of Jaime Garcia to that, that's pretty solid. Roberto Osuna as the closer is also pretty nice. This is where your problem comes in. Russell Martin is still catching. He's far past his prime. Tulowitzki does not look to be getting any better. In the outfield, you only made additions of guys like Curtis Granderson. Steve Pierce was here last year. He's not going to get it done. Kendrys Morales is looking okay. And then you do have some good players with guys like Teoscar Hernandez. Dalton Pompey looks to be alright. Kevin Pillar is amazing in the outfield. Josh Donaldson, Justin Smoke. Look to bring the hits. Devin Travis will do alright if he's healthy. But your team is just a giant question mark. Yes, it can be very good. But yes, it can be a tire fire at the same time. I hope that this team can be good. Just because I really want to piss off those Red Sox and Yankee fans. Go Blue Jays. Alright Red Sox fans. It looks like once again you will be playing second fiddle to the Yankees. Your rotation looks good with guys like Rick Porcello, Chris Sale, and even a David Price in there who kinda looks clapped, but he's still going to be a solid rotation. Your bullpen I'm a little worried about, but let's just not panic. Your catcher, you have three solid players right there catching in San Leon, Blake Swihart, and Christian Velasquez. I'm, or Vasquez, pardon me. I'm not sure who's going to get the starting job out of them, because I don't know them that well, but they are there. In the in your infield, you have guys like Xander Bogarts, Mitch Moreland, and Dustin Pedroia. That's, that's three solid infielders. And in the outfield, you have guys like Mookie Betts, Jackie Bradley Jr., DHing of Hanley Ramirez, and you just picked up one of my favorite players, J.D. Martinez. To go in that outfield and bring some pop to the lineup. I just think that your roster is just purely not good enough to combat all the superstars. And especially the young superstars on the Yankees roster. You can prove me wrong if you want. But you will still choke in the playoffs. Alright Yankees, you do not appear to be, to be the clear cut favorite this year. But you do look very good. I do have you pegged for finishing first, and with the acquisitions you made, like picking up John Carlos Stanton, 
from the Marlins, you should start writing your thank you Jeter letters all over again. As for your pitching, it appears to be elite as always, as you have guys like Don Batances, Sonny Gray, Arolis Chapman, CC Sabathia still looks to be okay, Luis Severino and Masahiro Tanaka rounding out that pitching core. It looks very nice. Gary Sanchez catching also his looks very, very nice. In the inf the infield is a little unimpressive, but you still but it is still complemented by guys like Ronald Torres. The outfield is where this team gets truly elite, with guys like Jacoby Ellsbury, Brett Gardner, like Aaron Judge, and John Carlos Stanton will also really help out that home run totals. Now, the question remains for this team, can Aaron Judge repeat his amazing rookie season? I don't think he will repeat it quite exactly. I think he will lessen off a little bit, but I do think he will do very well, and I think he will be a great player in this league. As much as I hate the Yankees, I do have them predicted for first and what could be another deep playoff run. Great.